Hey guys, so this is probably one of the longest and most fun games I have ever played, but also one of the most satisfying one. You'll be able to see how hard this game truly was and how much I had to focus in order to pull this one off. And to give you a better context of why this game was so difficult even before the match even started, is because in the previous game I was playing against the trio that's in my team right now, and the third player, which is going to pick me up later, was also in that team but playing as a solo. Needless to say, the previous game we completely dominated their team. So right now this Mia player is extremely frustrated that he has to play with this trio again. Even if this trio might be someone inexperienced, it's not a good idea to trash talk your teammates even before the game started, because that will just bring down the team's morale. Also, the same value from the previous game will be in the opposite team in this one, and to be quite frank, he's a pretty decent player. The enemies decided to pick Lolita once they saw that I picked Chang Oh. Lolita is one of the best counters against her, so that is another obstacle. Bowman. And one more thing that will make this even more difficult is that I just woke up and I decided to play some Mobile Legends, so honestly I will still have sleep at the start of the game. And thanks to all these difficulties, this will end up being one of the most mythical gameplay you will see, so I would highly suggest you to watch till the end because this is going to be a very entertaining and intense game. Okay, like I said, I would still have sleep at the start of the game, so I didn't really pay attention to the enemy spells. I thought Cecilia still had flame shot, so I was trying to sidestep it. But forget about the excuses, I'm just gonna suck it up and admit that I got outplayed by them. But you know how all the enemies MC always have to struggle first in order to awaken their inner ability? Well, that's not me. But I still decide to slap myself so I can properly wake up. The enemy's Valir got a double kill right from the start. This is going to be really interesting. This Valir is extremely aggressive, but to be honest, that's how you should be playing him. But he probably thought I was a complete noob because of how he killed me right from the start of the game. But little did he know I'm already fully awakened. Since our rotation is not really on point, what Chang Eu can do most in the early game is to harass the enemies and make sure they cannot push the middle lane. I need somebody who can stun the enemies in order to kill the target. I wanted to try to steal the turtle, but with so many of my allies dead, I had to take the long route, but it was already too late then.
This Valir really knows how to use the bush, so he will be a pain in the butt throughout the whole game. And since nobody rotating to gain them, I had to defend the middle lane even if it's a 2v1. Remember, the middle lane turret is the most important turret in the game. Right now the enemies have the advantage over us, so I have to play extra carefully and make sure that I don't mess up. Even though I'm not supposed to be the main carry, I have to play like I'm the one, and you will be able to see the reason why I'm saying this later into the game. It's really difficult to play against a Lolita when I'm playing Chang'o, and nobody else from the team is doing much damage at all. But don't worry, things will get extremely interesting very soon. I wanted to go steal the enemy's blue buff, but Valir anticipated that and was able to block me. Not bad. There's going to be a lot of back and forth throughout this game, which is why it's going to be really entertaining. Looking at the map, I can see there is a very high chance the enemies will try to steal my blue buff, so I needed our tank to secure the area. Well, that's Lolita for you. We should not focus the tank, so I'm just going to stay in a safe position and not overcommit. But I just saw that Lolita use her shield, so if they decide to fight again, I can just unleash my ultimate before his shield is available again. Looking at Alpha's movement, I was pretty sure he would try to ult me first, so I decided to reposition and make sure I was not in the line of fire. So we are trying to take the Lord, but seeing that I don't have mana and our only hero who has retribution is still at base, I think this will not have been a wise idea, because we are basically gambling here and see who is the lucky one who managed to last hit the Lord. We are not in a bad situation right now, so we should not take the 50-50 chance with the Lord and then throw the game. I think I'm getting to Valir's nerf. Cute.
I think Valir knows that I'm the one who is giving them the hardest time, so he's trying to use some psychological attacks. Pretty clever. Even though it might seem like we are winning, in reality they still have the advantage because our front line is not rotating properly and also not hiding in the bush to ambush the enemies. Here I saw that Lolita had wasted her shield, now I can unleash my ultimate without any worries. We got a double kill, this is the perfect chance to take the lord. But looking at the map, I saw Yi Sun Xing pushing the top lane, so somebody had to defend it. But what I feared the most just happened. Alpha managed to last hit the Lord. Great, because now the game is going to be a lot more entertaining. I wish one of them would just tank the turret so I can destroy it. Pay attention to the map here. You can see I'm taking the buff. Our marksman is defending the top lane. So right now it's definitely not a good idea to engage. But many tank players tend to forget to look at the map and pay attention to your own team's positioning before engaging. Don't make this kind of rookie mistake. I'm not going to fully commit, because I know the whole enemy team is probably around the corner. I'm just lowering her HP and then just retreat once I don't feel safe anymore. Unfortunately, all my skills are on cooldown, there's not much I can do. Like I told you, this game is going to be back and forth, and I'm definitely not allowed to make many mistakes in this game. I saw that they are trying to kill Uranus, but I know that hero can sustain for a very long time, so I wanted my team to help him and maybe we can do a counter gank. Lolita just used her shield, so you know what that means. Well, Mia's positioning though, sad face. You might think that at this point, I might be quite stressed out, but to be 100% honest, I was actually enjoying this game a lot. I feel that as long as I don't make a huge mistake, I can definitely be able to pull this one off. Playing against a Cecilion, Valir and Lolita, I had to pay extremely close attention to the surroundings, so it was really hard to see everything that was going around. But while this fight is happening, Alpha is split pushing the top lane, but our Balmo is about to respawn, I thought he was going to defend it. So we managed to kill 3 of them, now is the perfect chance to take the Lord. But unfortunately our Mia died while trying to defend the top lane. Well, at least 4 of the enemies are dead, so I will try to push the bottom inhibitor. I 
I thought I could kill Valir before Lolita responds. Probably I should not have done that. I just got greedy for no reason. My entire team just got wiped out, and they will just take the Lord and end the game. Well, at least I tried my best. I felt like Mia was putting too much blame on the trio, so I thought that I could tell her something as a wake-up call, and hopefully that will make her aware that her positioning could be much better. I almost got you there right. We managed to defend the Lord, but the game is far from over. This is already very late into the game. At this point, bear for the tank to stop showing himself on the map and just provide vision and hide in the bush so we can ambush the enemies. The Lord is about to respawn, so I'm telling my teammates to pay attention to the map and get ready to fight. They decided to take the Lord, and to be honest, I think they should have been able to finish it before the enemy's reinforcement arrive. And since we have a Balmon with Retribution and his ultimate, we can easily secure the Lord. But unfortunately he did not use his ult to secure the Lord. At this point, I was really hoping that I could make it in time. At least we managed to kill two of them, so defending the super minions and the lord won't be too much trouble, but it will certainly prolong the game. 
I think at this point, my team just didn't want to keep playing and just wanted the game to end. Valir has been trying very hard to outplay me throughout the entire game. You can see how intense this game was just by looking at how I'm mistapping some button here and there. One single mistake, especially from me, will probably be game over right away. So this Valir actually has some good sportsmanship. It was actually a very fun and intense battle we had throughout the whole game. Well played. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed playing this game, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, thanks.